Hey everybody, welcome to a side episode of Dark Souls 3. This is your favorite host Aaron here. Alright, now this is kind of leading up with what I'm assuming the next episode or two might be the last episodes of the series, until the DLC at least. There are a few things I wanted to wrap up, especially since the game's basically over until New Game Plus for me. <laughs> and, well, I've been wondering where Egon had went, and I don't know what happened here, but he's dead. I don't know, like, I was wondering why the old lady had his set, but no, he, he's dead here. And he actually will then drop his armor and uh, weapons. Well, not his armor. You get that from the old lady, of course. But his weapons. Uh, I can't remember if I read this or not. Great Hammer bestowed upon the Kareem Knights with... Uh, with the demonst... With demonstrate outstanding strength and unwavering faith. Decorated by the warding charms of Kareem of Kareem Temple and imbued with the twisted rage of Apostle Morn. And then the Moaning Shield, a deformed great shield given to Yon of Kareem upon being, conferred, <coughs> being a conferred knighthood. The giant woman's face that protects Egon is that of his sister, some years his senior. That's kind of cool. Creepy though. But I don't know what killed him. Though, sadly, we do have another death on our hands. This one... Not very good, either. I think... Uh, oh, crud, that wasn't going up. Alright, well... Uh, I probably just spoiled about what it was that, uh... We're going up to see. Uh, it's not good. I I don't know why Egon was dead. Like that's what's curious about it. Like who killed him? I assume he didn't kill himself. All right. Yeah, up here, our giant friend is dead. Poor guy. And when you come up and find him, he will actually have on him the Hawk Ring, the final of the four Knights of Gwen rings. Ring associated with Hawkeye Goff, one of the four Knights of Gwen, the First Lord, extends the range of arrows. In his late years, the giant Go was blinded by his was blinded, but this did not prevent him from striking down a calam calamitous dragon with his great bow. And that would have been the DLC when I took down Calamit. I don't know who killed them. Like, that's the part that freaks me out the most. Now, some I've been doing kind of between recordings is I've been gathering some items. Covenant items, to be precise. The pr the last sunlight medals I needed. Sadly, I can't do the Dark Moon one until the next playthrough. Pale tongues for the that in the covenant that messed that up for me, and then human dregs for that one friendly covenant that kept invading us in the first part of well uh, that um part out in uh, the Boreal Valley. We're going to go turn these items in after I take care of some stuff back at Firelink. Oh, yeah, the kiln. Now, I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I kind of uh, didn't get around to doing it yet. I'm going to buy the items from every all the all the spells, miracles, those type of things from all of 
our uh, guys. Now, that's already maxed out. And I just had these last three pyromancies to buy from him. Okay, so that was my that'll be the last pyromancy. and well no, because they're still the dark pyromancies. Do not be gone for what is it? <laughs> okay, do you have anything new to say since uh, I bought them all? Heed my word. So either he's got another set of uh what is it? <laughs> either he's got another set of pyromancies that I don't have the tome for yet. Which I don't think I have any new ones. No, I just have these two dark ones. Or that hit, buying all of his doesn't do anything. Okay, let's try buying all of his. I've saved up a lot of souls just so I can do this whole thing. Oh well, I'll just buy them. Even the ones I'll have doubles of. Yeah, I... It was going to be about... I think... 250,000 souls to buy all of them from everyone promised us it's been nice running our own little school oh what is it oh oh i have something for you you're a fine sorcerer now no mistake oh thank you you should have something to prove it Go on. If I'm giving something away, you better well take it. <laughs> that was kind of sinister, but... Oh, young dragon ring. How do you like gimmicks, friend? Uh, they're this fun. It's a sign, a cipher, employed by sorcerers who use quietude to their advantage. Oh, silent ally. Slumbering dragon crest ring. Oh, that's a useful one. With this... You can be sure to tell friend from foe from your very first encounter. It's a very old practice at this point, but one that you deserve to know. I promise to stay. it's been nice running our own little school. He's a lot nicer to you once you've done this. Okay, let me check out the ring. Uh, now I'm pretty sure I know what that does. Boost sorceries. Ring given by uh, in Venham, um, uh, home of sorcery when newly ordained as a sorcerer. A propos to the dragon school, the seal depicts an everlasting dragon. A young dragon presages the uh, great length to the journey to mastery. Presages. Now what? Mask the sound of its word. Now that is a useful one. One I kind of wish I've had a few times. Ring of a clandestine guild of sorcerers based in Venhelm, home of sorcery. The Dragon School held effective sovereignty over Venheim with a great many adept assassins at its disposal. Oh, lovely. Oh. In Venheim. Oh, I had an I had a feeling. A only in name. A killer for hire. Yeah. What a fool I was, thinking one day I would learn real sorceries. When I became undead, I was exiled from the school. Oh, that's messed up. But here I am, now, exploring the depths of sorcery. All thanks to you, I might add. Well, thank you. One more play. No ordinary man. Thank you. All these sorceries, and you've mastered every one. <laughs> if this were the Dragon School, you'd be... Well, overtly despised and banished from the place. <laughs> Dang! Well, I suppose it's time I pack my bags. What? I would hate to see our agreement end sourly. Better left, tucked away. It's a pleasant memory. Oh. <sighs> You are no ordinary. If this well, well, I would hate better left. Ah, uh, so I guess he's leaving. To stay. It's been no oh. <laughs> you are no ordinary. Okay, yeah. Sorceries. Oh, that would be quite like you. Ah, oh, I like I like him so much more now. Once he starts to be a lot nicer to me, lady, I'm coming to buy all your uh, miracles now. 
champion of ash. Do you wish to hear it? Uh, not giving you those tomes. Purchase no. Okay. Godspeed, may your solemn. Oh, champion of ash. Do you wish to hear it? No, in my eye Ah, I so there's probably something else. Terribly. The thing is, it... no, in my home, I would mother, but if I had a divine tome, I could tell. Terribly. Godspeed. There must be another tome somewhere. Like, I don't want to give her those dark ones. That's the problem. His is the only one that's advanced anywhere. I don't have any more to give him unless I'll find one in the dragon area. Ah, yes. Oh, is this a divine tome? Yes, it is. What on earth are you thinking? Why wouldn't you near a divine tome? Or any so-called miracle? And casters of miracles are sure to steer clear of me. Oh. So please, don't torture me, sir. Oh, okay. Did you say the same thing about the... Ah, oh, you... Crud, did that actually go through? Crud, that went through. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, I know. I know. Fine, then. But just this once, I will tell you this tale. I'll have no sniggering, should I err. I actually feel kind of bad. I... Like, I, this is my first playthrough, so it's going to be full of me messing up, but okay, I'm going to go ahead and get everything purchased. Don't stir up your my apprentice. Don't... Oh, well then. One can become quite attached, even to a bumbling apprentice. You sound oddly familiar. I'm hardly serious. <laughs> I like her. Oh, are you lost on your no matter? It, and it will. Oh, no. And okay, it, yeah, she has nothing else to say. Stay safe. All right, so um, I guess I'll try resetting the area, and then we'll see if anything has changed. I'm gonna guess. Our sorcerer friend is leaving. Uh, I kind of wish there was a way we could help, like, the uh, lion lady become a firekeeper like she's always wanted. Wait, where is she? What? He's gone. I expected him to be gone. Oh, crud. What'd I do? Where is she? Oh, crud, where is she? Did she get mad because I learned those evil s uh, bells? Miracles, whatever. Oh, crud. Lady! Ah, you're useless! That guy up there's not around to tell me anything. Crud. Well, I might have messed up. Uh, I probably messed up somehow. Alright, so I guess... Um, next I'll probably go ahead and drop off the Covenant items. I might look... I'm going to look around for a little bit, see if I can find her. If I can, yay. If I can't, oh well. And I'm going to... If I can find her, great. Or I might have messed up and she's gone. I'll be right back, guys, while I look around. Alright, guys, so I actually did find her. She, for some reason, moved to the Tomb of the Firekeepers? What are you doing here, lady? Oh, sweet champion of Ash. Let souls be your strength. What? 
she can level me up now? Is she a firekeeper now? Only firekeepers have this ability. Holy cow, she became a firekeeper. I'm gonna guess it was because I didn't give her the dark tomes and I bought out all her all her miracles? That's what I'm guessing because by now I didn't give her the dark tomes, I'd given them to the other lady. And I guess it didn't mind that I had bought the dark miracles from the other one at least so that's nice oh that's awesome she got to become a firekeeper after all awesome oh, that's so... it's kind of a weird thing to have two people that can level you up especially because she's a little more out of the way I kind of wish I could give her the firekeeper set like to make the transformation complete uh, I doubt that will do anything but you know what? I'm just curious enough to check. Yeah, this is probably going to be at least a normal episode's length, just because of all the stuff I need to do. I want to see if you can take the fire of the old stuff. I, as you can see, I got a lot of items. Like, I've basically saved a copy of everything I've ever gotten. Where? Wait, does... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pharmacy doesn't have uh, the the set doesn't have. Pretty sure it doesn't have any top a head to it headpiece. I wouldn't even mind giving these to her. Oh, but that's so cool. She. I guess that's what happened. Uh, okay, seriously, the fog door here is really getting annoying. I understand they're unloading the world, so just to save processing or whatever. I don't really care why it happens. It's still annoying. Uh, there we go. Okay, that time it went faster than last. Uh, than last time when I was trying to leave this place. Oh, uh, I hope I can give her the par uh, the firekeeper set because that would be so cool. Like a fitting end. Oh, oh, I can't. Oh, but she became a firekeeper. I, that's what I'm guessing is what happened because that because to my knowledge, it's the firekeepers are the only ones who can level you up. I'm happy for her. Too bad Egon isn't here to enjoy this. See that she became what she sought out to be, even against his negativity. Alright, so now, time to go turn in covenant items to jerk covenants that I don't like. Alright, so let's, uh... I guess let's get the Rosaria bedchamber one out of the way. I know I already turned her soul into an item, but I'm still able to... I wonder if that's with all Covenants, if the Covenant Leader dies, you can still interact with it. I know it is with the um, Mound Makers, because, well, you don't turn in the items to him, to the guy that's in charge there anyway. I'm sure I haven't got everything in the game. Like, I know I messed a few things up, so it probably cost me a few things. But... I like to think I got a pretty good, I uh, did pretty good for my uh, first run. Yeah, here we go. Offer pale tongues. Now this should be enough to get me another item. Man grub staff. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, Staff of, of the man grubs who guard Rosaria's bedchambers. Their holy symbol is formed at the tip. Wielding a luck. Oh, wielder's luck strengthens effects of sorceries. That's kind of cool. The man grubs have clearly been reborn, but is what? Just like with um, the guy with the twirly hat, whose name I forget. What was his name? I put that hat away. 
But yeah, she's of rebirth, so yeah. Okay, so I got that from the last bit of this covenant. I'd actually turned in ten originally already. And I'd gotten this ring, obscures where while far away. Ring bestowed upon the fingers of Rosaria, invaders who seek tongues for their goddess. Hides presence of the wearer when far away. It said that Rosaria, the mother of birth, was robbed of her tongue by her firstborn and has been waiting for their return ever since. The mother of birth was robbed of her tongue by her firstborn. Wait. We're pretty well acting under the assumption that this is probably Guinevere. What's become of her? Her firstborn showed up? I assume she was also... She was also the queen of Lothric for a time. But then after her final son was born... Uh, with the king of... She left, came, uh, I'm gonna guess she came here, and her firstborn attacked her. So would that make Aldrich the firstborn? Because he's the only person I could think of, but why he'd take her tongue, I don't know. Oh, there's so much here. I'm probably gonna need to give all this information to Josh, and I think me and Josh are going to kind of sit down and discuss a lot of this. Probably after the DLCs come out and we've had a chance to play everything, we will probably try to piece all the Soul, all the Dark Souls games story together the best we can. Kind of like our own little timeline of events and whatnot. We'll probably not get everything when we'll probably be really off base on a lot of things, but it'll be interesting and fun to do. Alright. Next. Uh, place that annoys me. I covenant that was a bunch of jerks. I end up getting the... Uh, all of my covenant items that I've gathered, I got from killing enemies. Which is sort of... Which is nice. You don't... If you're not very good at PvP, like I'm not very good at it, there is a way around it. The tongues you can get from the uh, Dark Wraiths, the uh, Human Dregs, I'm pretty sure I read the tongue before, but proof of a deed filled by Aldred's faithful who patiently await the devourer of God's return. Dregs are the heaviest thing within the human body and will sink to the lowest depths imaginable where they become the shackles of bond in this world. I'm going to guess that it's like humanity, then. And you get these from the cleric guys that are up above this area. There's like a whole line of them that you can just go kill all of them. And the more item drop item, uh, the item discovery items you have on you, the better for this. Aldrich Faithful. Offer human dregs. Let's get the first 10 out of the way. Because it seems like all the Covenants are doing 10 and 30. Huh. Oh, I got all the sorceries now. Sweet. Alright. Well, then this isn't going to be a sorcery. Archdeacon's great... S okay. I basically want to get this all out of the way on one character, so I don't need to do these things again. Like, on my next playthrough, I could be completely good. Uh, large staff bestowed upon Archdeacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. This is probably what the Archdeacon guy was using in the boss fight. The Archdeacon and uh, McDon McDonald's trespass of sin of channeling faith for sorcery Transformed what was once merely a symbol of acceleration authority into a callist of sorceries. Huh. Said he chant. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure. Did I ever read the Sunlight Medal? Medal received by a 
members of the Warriors Sunlight Covenant, for victory over a final foe when summoned. The summoner also gains the same medal. The medal, engraved with the holy symbol of the sun, is slightly warm and reminds one of the great honor of a shared victory. Blood drained, shrunken ear, souvenirs taken for subduing the guilty. The Na'e, called the Blades of the Dark Moon, punish the guilt-soaked offenders of the gods and take this as proof of their conquest. The earless corpse of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to others, inspiring both fear and respect for the gods. Such is the eternal mandate of the Dark Moon. I still need to get five more of these by the time I get to this area in New Game Plus. So sad that I can't turn that in so I don't get to find out more about uh, Yorshka. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, I need to go here. There we go. And then I'll turn in the last of the Sunlight Medals and that should get me... I don't know if it'll be the last Miracle though. Might be. Because I have all the Sorceries now. So I don't have all the pyromancies. No, I bet you I probably get a miracle from uh, the Dark Moon Covenant. You, I know you. I'm pretty sure you do. I'm trying to remember. Oh, I gotta love these loading screens. Things I got a feeling there's gonna be another pyromancy thing because we haven't finished everything with uh, our pyromancy teacher. And I don't know if anything else happens with the uh, Carla. I feel like something else probably will happen. I don't know how many of these I need, but I grabbed four, I think that. Okay, Great Lightning Spear. Now, I'm not going to read all the miracles and stuff that I've gained throughout this. I'm sorry, that is a lot. I might do some reading of it on my own, just for lore purposes, because I don't know how many of those will actually just be rehashed of information we already know, or whatnot. But if I come across something that has useful information that we need, then I will probably bring it up whenever we are talking. Okay, so I think the only thing left was there were some areas in the uh, actually in over here in the um, archives that we didn't get to. What I was kind of thinking I might do is do a little bit of running around because there's still some items I never got and it still bugs me. So I'm going to do some running around and we're going to see what we can find. Be right back, guys. Hey, guys. Well, so, I did find something we kind of missed in all our running around. But I went ahead and put a wax head on. What's this do? Huh. That still doesn't get me that item right there. I still have no idea how this is to get there. Okay, well, I guess I'm... Going over there now. Is it gonna be another switch or what? Oh well, um, I guess I'll just keep the recording going. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> well, I didn't even pay attention. I was just like, ah. Uh, sorry guys, I'm a little excited. Like, I'm kind of excited because we're getting so close to finishing this game. Yet at the same time. I don't want it to really end. You, come down here. Get up here. Stop being a jerk. Oh, you go you Goomba stop me, you jerk. Oh yeah, I'm not dual wielding. There we go. Now let's see where this led. Ooh, a chest. It's not a trap, is it? Uh another Titanite slab? That's five! Holy cow, five Titanite slabs in one playthrough. I'm pretty sure that's up there with the uh, Dark Souls 1. Like, sure it's better than Bloodborne. That, 
Like, they probably realize how mad they made people with that whole deal. <sighs> I still don't understand how it's supposed to get there. What? Um... That phantom might have just given me an idea. We're going to see if that works. You guys are... Ah. Now I'm not going to be able to jump it like that. Okay. Oh, Mr. Happy! Hi! Oh wait, I don't need to fight you, I just need to go this way. Because that phantom gave me an idea. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try it. Hi, you missed me already. Um... Oh. Wow, it's a drop down. Okay, no wonder I never saw it. Okay, I need to go put the hat back on. Cause I'm probably gonna need to worry about this. I don't like the whole. I like the whole. You can use this to get rid of it, so you don't have to worry about those curse guys. Well, not curse. It's petrifier, really. That's what it's gonna turn into. Wow! Never even crossed my mind to do this. I guess the problem is we we're dealing with so many invaders. So, you know, I'm going to take that guy out because I don't want him shooting at me while I'm trying to do things. Thank you. Did you drop something for me? Ooh, crystal gem. Okay, guys, if you need a crystal gem, there you go. Okay, so I had dropped down on here before, but it had never occurred to me to drop all the way down. Oh, crud, I missed. Kind of annoyed me that second chance doesn't pop right there. I probably need to drop down and then jump for it. Okay, so we're going to try this again. Like I said, this side episode is kind of normal episode in length. But I hope it's a... We're getting a lot of cool stuff like... Got another Titanite slab. Well, I'll have to tell Josh about that because I know he'll want that. And I'm there must be the item that's there must be a good one must be a good one just because it's there like that like I doubt they would make it something like that that's kind of tricky to get to if it wasn't good dang it I always overshoot I've been having some fun with Sacred Flame. Turns out it's a lot more powerful than I ever gave it credit for. You. I don't need you getting in my way. Oh. Drop something for me. No. No, he didn't. What a jerk. Oh, wait. I want my wax head. Kinda cool that they have a fire version of that weapon. There we go. Wax head up. Kinda wish I had the um, pyromancy that adds fire to your weapon. Cause that'd probably be pretty cool right about now.
Ha, ah, you missed me, missed me. Now you're gonna die. Actually, I'm really liking dual swords. Then again, in case you haven't, you guys have not noticed, which I assume you all probably have, I just have a tendency to like dual weaponry. Huh. Ooh. Alright, now what was this item that's been teasing me this whole time? The Avalon? I don't use crossbows, though. An extremely rare rapid-fire crossbow fires three su success su uh, successive bolts by means of an elaborate mechanism. Inflicts heavy damage by in making all three shots count. Despite its use as a weapon, this crossbow is also a priceless work of art, and it bears resemblance to a musical instrument. <sighs> so, this is just like in uh, how you get this weapon in the Duke's archives. It's an annoying jump that you could possibly get yourself killed on. Oh. Okay, so you can't even get up on that side. Uh, how, was there any other way to make it here? No, I think you really did have to, uh, jump from there down here, and it never occurred to me. Huh. Todd. Alright. Alright, so that is gonna wrap this, uh, side episode up. We got a lot accomplished. I helped a nice blind lady turn it into a firekeeper. I don't think anything new happened with anyone else. Uh, actually, you know what? I didn't even think to look for uh, our mage buddy back there at the archives. One second. Oh. Hey guys, so I scoured from top to bottom of this place. And yeah, my assumption was right that he would come to the library. Wait, did he full on hollow? Wow, he went hollow here. Jeez. Brook beats ashes. I'm gonna have to turn these in before the episode's over then. Key item. Orkbeck was fascinated with sorceries, but without means, so offered to serve as an assassin in exchange for acceptance into the Dragon Academy, believing that one day he could reinvent himself as a sorcerer. Jeez. We need to go back and turn these ashes in. I guess that's the old thing about Dark Souls few people get happy endings. Like most characters, if you they have a quest line and you if you push it all the way, it's not gonna be good. No, I need to give Well, well what warm humble ash have we here? Yeah, apparently died recently. It's as if thy fate were with death and time. I didn't do this. I didn't kill him if that's what you're saying, lady. Lady, you're kind of creepy. Now all the sorceries that he already sold us. Um, gonna guess we'll probably also get his coat. Yep. I guess uh, you get all of his sorceries that he's taught you up to this point and his coat. Jeez, I could have three soul arrows. 
Too bad they don't stack and become better. Ashen one. Oh. At least she's still down there and Okay, he's over there, he's fine. Alright, so that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. I don't know what else we'll be able to find out, but I assume anything else will be in the uh, that new area of ours that we've been exploring with the stupid summoning enemy. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. Sorry for the slightly longer side episode than normal. I think it was worth it, though. Oh, wait. I should read his, oh, his thing. Duh. Traditional code of Vinheim Drag in school. Normally a deep blue color, this black variation is a sign of sorcerer engaged in surreptitious work. These were covert agents who excelled at manipulating sound. Yeah. Assassins. Alright. I want to thank you all for watching. Well, for the friend we lost, we salute him. Have a good day, guys. Bye.